What's up out there in YouTube land? Welcome to the OK Good Review channel. And today, guys, today, 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 today of all days, we are going to take a look at the Human Alliance Transformers A Dark of the Moon live action lead put. And this probably was going to be somewhat of a longish video. Just telling you guys up front. So pack a lunch, get a drink, settle in. Alright, so this also came with Steel Jaw, which we do not have. It comes with this neat little figure, and you can have him ride in the chest of Leadfoot. You can also have him driving, so you can pop open the door. Come here, door. Pop open the door and throw him in, and I'm not throwing him in very well. He's got his foot on the dash, but he can sit there and he can actually drive with the door closed and so on and so forth. So, that comes with, that part is kind of cool. Like Robuster, like Top Spin, Leadfoot is part of the Wrecker crew. And we have the other two. And I was looking around because Leo wanted to make the entire set, of course, guys. So usually what I do in the face of looking at different figures and things like that is usually I will do a fair amount of research into the models. Now as you might expect I buy the majority of the toys including the Transformers that you guys see on the channel and I don't research everything generally I try to research these. So I'm going to show you, I'm just showing you guys this in vehicle mood right now. Obviously it's a NASCAR of some type uh, Target it looks like. I think this was a Target exclusive as I recall. Uh, Chevy Impaler and uh, Tom's Cottonell, Lysol, Sponsors, Energizer on the back. So it looks like a pretty cool NASCAR. One thing I will say is the size of this Human Alliance and I did not realize this. I didn't realize a lot about the Human Alliance. You can see all these seams on here. This thing is very very fussy, very fidgety. But the other thing is I didn't realize how large it is. So this is way bigger than the other two wreckers. <laughs> and of course, he's got that oversized gut in the front, which makes things kind of goofy as well. So uh, there are some different things you can do here. You can, you can pop guns out. And this is the area I think that he actually sits in. If you want him to sit when he's in robot mood. But other than that, it's, uh, I, I don't understand this line here they were aiming this at. It's a pretty good representation, obviously, of the car. But there is so many moving parts. So I'm going to show you guys the bottom right now. One of the reasons I'm showing you guys the bottom is because you really, really have, see, this is already broken off, but you really have to have alignment on point when you put this back together. If you do not, you will be extremely unhappy with this. It is not an intuitive transformation like most of the movie figures are. So the Human Alliance is its own thing, I think, really. But, alright, so let's break this thing off into robot mood. And I don't actually, guys, I've never looked at the instructions for this. I don't tend to do that. I tend to just get in there and try to look at it from an engineering perspective. So we're going to start with the doors and then I'm going to unplug this which is his hands and arms. Now we'll plug this back in momentarily. And this side and then I like to get these out of the way. So from here the next thing is to lift up on the back part so we can free his legs. Personally I think there's too much stuff going on with all the different panels and how you have to arrange them. Uh, he is somewhat of a back of, of, a, of a shell former. This will come out, this will fold in, and you kind of have this, and this is basically his backpack right here, this part. 
All right, so continuing on along, uh, I think I am actually going to transformate his feet. There are two two stages to this. There's one, and the other one come out. I don't actually remember this. So we're just going to leave it there. I guess you can have this. You can not have this. Whatever. I don't get. You know, you got to you got to break apart these rear fenders. I try not to to get too crazy with this. You can swirl and swing stuff all over the place with this guy. I usually just leave his, you can fold away the tires. I usually just leave them there. You can see there's a lot of area you can swing this around if you if you really want to. I don't really want to. I'm just gonna leave it like so. Uh, and then this, if you play around with it, just, if you don't remember where it goes, again, you're gonna have some trouble with it from that point, putting it back together. Okay, so we're gonna break away the hood and we're going to lift these two parts up, take this out, lift this up. All this stuff is going to be forming the chest here in a minute. And we have to slide this, slide this up. Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay, so these things um, don't always cooperate because one will go on top of the other one. We have to actually free this, you guys can see it right there, free the arm from that part right there. And this one's already free because it's broken out. But okay, so you can see where his head is sort of right there. So we're eventually gonna work that part out here in a minute, okay. So what, what kinda has to happen here is, you can see this, this little tab is gonna go up into there. You guys see it right there? So let's do that. Oh boy. And it, it's, <laughs> this is this is an interesting um, interesting transformer to be sure. All right, so we got the arms here. This arms are up and away. Uh, let's actually take this moment to plug this one in. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, looks like a mess, right? And that's just because it is. All right. So this folds down on top of itself. And um, the wheels, okay, there you The wheels go together in front like so. And I usually leave this part together. Uh, obviously you can clear everything out of the way if you want to. Bring these, bring these parts out and you can kind of have the seated, seated part here. I guess those are things for him to hold on to. I don't, I don't actually remember for sure. All right, so. All right, and we need to clear this part out of the way so we can actually get his head out. And, oh, no, and go that back this way again. Okay. Basically, this has to go all the way down, and then his head Get out of there. So you can do this thing too with the visors. You can, um, if you flip the visor here, there's a, a thing in there. Let's see if we can actually do it. This is, let's try it now. All right, so the visor is not white. Oh, here it is. No, oh, visor not gonna come out. Oh, the visor might have gotten broken off, actually. Anyway, there's a visor that'll come down over his face. His face sculpt is okay. I think his face sculpt is okay. All right, so put that back together, that back together, and we're gonna make the fat transformer here. Oh, uh, you can spin around his legs, which is really the only way you can actually have his foot correct. So, and move the doors in the back. And we can mess around with his his hands here to to get his hands in the correct positions. This this is part of the door that folds up. Very very squirrely figure. Uh, I'm not sure I like this one. Actually, I'm sure I don't. In fact. 
This is the only human alliance thing we have. Honestly, guys, I don't know if I'm ever going to get another one. I am not a fan of this. All right, so his arms, and then I think this all goes closer together, possibly. All right. Oh, come on, buddy. But, so, I mean, more or less, and you can fidget around with some of the other stuff too, but, okay, dude, what's going on here? All right, you pudgy transformer. Be nice if you'd stand. Uh, he stands after a fashion. He's very, very awkward, just like in the movie. So this is the awkward hour transformer right here. And there's, there's probably part of this I'm doing wrong. I'm just showing you guys this just so you can get an idea of just kind of what a mess this figure actually is. I imagine this is going to be out at some point in the um, Studio Series, and that will probably be a much better opportunity of getting him. So I'm assuming that at some point these clip together somehow, but I don't... He gets like really unbalanced when you do that, so... I don't know. Let's see, we can, we can give him more height now this way. Not um, not what I would say is anything approaching a great figure. Yeah, so um, I think that's more or less how he goes. Just robot mode is not great with this guy. So, all right, let's try to whip him back into vehicle mode. And as you can see, this is an unholy mess of limbs and everything else. So, lots of opportunities for somebody to get frustrated if they're younger here and they're not patient. <laughs> and I'm not uh, not trying to uh, to take sub shots or anything like that at anybody, but I'm just saying that this can be a, a just a total exercise in frustration. So. What I like to do is, and the other thing too, is you got to make sure that these things, the tips, are pointed in towards the center, or it'll be very difficult again to go back together correctly. All right, so we got to duck his head, so we're going to do that first, and then I made the front clip also. All right, from there, what I like to do is, I like to actually try to make this shell, just because... All the basically all I'm doing here is trying to go through it and make points of reference. So uh, we've got that. We need to um, take this part, unfold this. We don't need to unfold it all the way, just enough right now so that we can work. So what we want to see is we want to see this all the way back. We want to see these things straight. Okay, so the, these things are critical to getting this thing to go together correctly. All right, so the arms actually have to go. Hang on here. All right, so they have to go like so, and then we've got this thing attached right now, so we need to break that away. All right, so this is gonna come down, and then these things will go bo both go over. Okay, so we've got this fender here as a reference point for us, which is handy. Okay, so I think I'm gonna leave the doors there. I think that will be okay. So this part has to go down, we just need to leave these doors out of the way so they don't catch on things. So these both go in. What I try to do is keep this as symmetrical as possible, honestly, guys. So that's really a lot of what I'm doing right now. All right, so. All right, and so this actually, these actually need to go back this way because these are the seats. All right, so let's do that. Okay, great. Alright, so the seats are going to go here, and then we need to, these parts still need to go back inside, but like so. Okay, do you guys see what I did there? Okay, so we keep this arm straight back, and then we just basically, I'm trying to do this very carefully so I don't, um, I don't pooch out the uh, arm again, but Okay, so here's kind of what we want. Now what we have is more or less, this is part of the hood here. 
So what we have is more or less the shape of the car taking place. Okay, now from here, these things need to go, this little notch here rests on top of that red bar. So we need to, these are ratchet joints here, so we need to fold these both all the way up like so. Okay? Alright, and then we need to, as gently as we can, try to get them in position. So it looks sort of like this. You see the seats are basically inside the car, both of them, both of them. Okay, so more or less like this. This one's actually tilted the wrong way. Well, it's okay, we'll just tilt them both the same way for now. Um, yeah, let's deal with the, let's deal with this part up. Okay, so keeping track of everything you're doing like this, guys, is super critical to success on this particular mission. All right, so we've got the fenders. When we put this down, we should be able to get the fenders to drop into place with any luck at all. All right, so for right now, I'm just gonna move these arms out of the way. Okay, everything is symmetrical right now. All right, so the next part is to build the back. And building the back is, uh, is actually not super awful. What we need to do though is remember that we, we spun these around initially, so we need to rotate this so that we can actually do that. All right, so once you rotate that, things will fall into place nicely depending on how much goofing around you did with the other parts. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I try not to do the whole bunch of that. I don't think it adds necessarily anything to the robot. And, um, you know, it's just, I, I would prefer to be able to put the car back together in, in something under, you know, a zillion hours. All right, so we have the fenders here. Just need to put the fenders together. And put this one together. Come here. All right, fenders are together. And I don't worry too much about this. This will tend to take care of itself when you put it back together. So you can notch everything in if you want to. Usually I find you need to do this part a few times. Just like you do on anything that has a whole bunch of tabs from Transformers, you just get to do it over and over and over again. Uh, this actually isn't too bad. Hopefully it'll stay there. All right, so from here, we need to put this part down. And I don't mean to insult it and call it names, although you may be doing that at some point. And you get this over here, rotate this part so that I can come down, and move it so that we can get the fenders to plug in. All right. Okay, now let's move the hood out of the way for now. Okay. So like I said, I mean, you can see guys by probably by this point, this is not an intuitive transformation. So this part goes flat. His arm goes completely flat. This is one of the seats and this will go up. So you like so, okay, you got a seat there. And on the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. Back and, whoops, come here, come here, come here, come here, come on, come on, come on. Okay, seat goes up, all right. In good shape. We have everything basically aligned at this point. And we can just put this like so. We gotta fold the thumb in. Can't have thumb sticking out. Okay. Yes indeed. Now we can close the doors if we want to. And from here we just need to push the engine together, like so. And we need to just do a little of the old, guys, you know what it is, say it with me out there if you want to, snap, crackle, and pop, that's right. Okay, oh, here we go, come on now. Okay, done. Done, so like I said, you gotta really pay attention to, oh man. 
symmetry on this. I don't think I would have, had I known this, I probably would not have gotten this vehicle. Okay, so these black things need to be flapped down because they're actually a part of the door. And as you can see, they plug into this part here. So let's do that on this side as well. Flap you on down. Oh, come on. Plug you on in. And I managed not to break it loose. Well, I hope I didn't just jinx myself, guys. I managed not to break it off of the uh, of that swivel joint yet, so yay me. Okay. Man, this is just, it's, it's tight quarters, and this is just not a great, oh, you, come here, you. All right, we're gonna come back to that fender. Just not what I would say is a great transformation. All right, there we go. Let's see if we can get this thing to behave now. So if we plug it like so, and man, boy, 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 oh boy, guys. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh oh, oh, that's not all the way down. Get down. Get down, get down. Okay, you, you gotta get down too. Come on. Okay, so we can see the problem right now is that this is not all the way down, so it needs to be down on that red thing. And this side's okay, so. And you can tell because you won't be able to actually get the door line up correctly if it's not so okay and oh it's so kibbly you guys it's it's obnoxious oh man come on you it's obnoxious and it's kibble okay do this side's good oh you gotta do this again oh my favorite part we get to do it on this side too yay okay All right, now, we should fold this over. We should be pretty close from here. All right, so we're just gonna squish some stuff together. Oops. Okay, so if you actually line them up instead of being dumb like I was. That's the thing I'm telling you guys, you gotta line this up. You gotta, you gotta pay some very strict attention here. And if you do, this, as you can see, this actually took a lot less time than I thought it was going to. I know, save the comments about me not going all the way through to the exact robot mood. Um, again, I, like I said, I'm not doing that. That's a pain. Rides really close to the back fender there, but the wheels all still spin, so. I, uh, have lots of reservations about this vehicle as you as you probably have uh, have noticed. I think the seats are cool. I think having something where you can actually take a figure and shove him in and I think he might actually even be able to grip the steering wheel although my big fat clumsy hands won't accommodate that but I think he might be able to. You can have them. All right, let's put both hands on the wheel. Or you can have one hand out the window even. So you can see, you can stuff him in there. He looks like he's driving. Smoke glass. I mean, there's really a lot of cool parts to this. I think they did an NASCAR very, very, very well. Guys, to be straight honest with you. Just this transformation is bad. I mean, it's, it's too much. And I, I don't understand that at the end of it, you know, you get this really, really funky figure. And I know the shape of lead foot is not great, but neither is this. And the oversized nature of it, I mean, this is almost a 124 scale. This is basically, it maybe, maybe isn't exactly there, but it's pretty close to what a model car is. And honestly, I think that's just a touch on the big side for a transformer. Especially a vehicle that'd be a deluxe class, when everything else is a deluxe class, so... And maybe that's a target thing, I don't actually know. But, I think, yeah, I just, here, stick your hand out the window. I want a cup of coffee. Oh, I'm breaking his arm. Sorry, dude. All right, all right, put your, put your hand back in there. Okay. So, yeah, anyway, there he is inside the car. 
You know, and there we go. That is our look at the Human Alliance. Leadfoot from Transformers Dark in the movie, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys. Guys, if you did, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you've not done so already. I don't know, will there be a blue notification bell? I don't know if there will be comments. If there are, please feel free to use them if you care to do that. Whether there are or not, guys, please come follow us on our Twitter feed, where updates to the channel are made by myself, fairly close to when they happen, guys. You can also comment the videos, guys, and there is Twitter-specific content such as displays. That will also show up there as well, guys. So if you guys use Twitter, please come check us out. We would love to have you. But here it is, one last look at the old Leadfoot. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.